Hello everyone. Today we will show you how to install Windows 10 on any PC or a laptop. So first you need one an empty at least 8 GB of USB and uh, you need another computer where you can download the, the Windows ISO. So you just need to log in into Google and write down window media creation tool media creation tool Windows 10 and you need to select the first Microsoft website Windows 10 disk image ISO file then you need to come down and uh, you need to click uh, where it says create Windows 10 media creation tool and then you need to click download tool now once it's downloaded you just need to run the tool Um, now I need to accept this and now it's asking you what do you want to do do you want to upgrade this PC uh, or do you want to create uh, a USB or ISO file so we're gonna click on create installation media and click next and um, it's uh, asking like you know what language of course is uh, my computer have a English United Kingdom so it's uh, you can change it from here if you want to change a different language and um, click next now if you want to install the windows directly into the usb so you need to click next and select the usb or if you want to make a iso and you want to make a lot of usbs so you can you can do that you can download uh, iso and you can create as many as uh, uh, usbs you want uh, right now i have connected the usb so i will just may click on uh, usb flash drive and click next I have already connected uh, my USB and which is a G drive U disk and I will just because it's been already selected and uh, I will just click uh, next now it's uh, it depends on your internet speed um, if it's uh, a good internet speed it can take uh, quicker download and install on the USB and uh, if you have um, um, not a great internet or if you have or your PC is quite far from the internet or you're taking or you, you're getting a low uh, download or, or a speed so it might take a while
can see it says your USB flash uh, drive is ready and you just need to click finish and now your USB is ready to install uh, Windows on uh, another PC now our USB is ready uh, I plug it in into one HP laptop um, every computer or a laptop uh, it's have a bootable uh, hotkey uh, which I will mention in the description uh, HP uh, for HP uh, computer uh, we need to press F9 to go into the boot menu so I will just turn the PC uh, laptop on and uh, the USB already connected I'm gonna keep pressing F9 and uh, now it's on a boot menu and uh, I can see the second option is my USB which I created uh, for, with Windows I will press enter and when it says press any key you need to press any key if you miss this step then it will go into if your laptop or a computer already have a window so it will go to the windows and then you need to restart it, uh, this process again so you need to make sure you need to be quick once you selected your usb then you need to select uh, when you see the message says press any key to continue so you need to press any key from the keyboard and uh, your usb start flashing and uh, it will start to the uh, windows process now okay it's saying you need to select uh, the language so uh, uh, i'm of course uh, i will select uh, united kingdom and i will just click next install now okay now it's asking you to put the uh, e product key uh, most of our computers and laptops uh, it's already have a, a built-in Windows key so in on this point you just need to select I don't have the key once the Windows is installed and you connect with the internet it will activate itself Uh, now you need to select uh, which version of window you you want to install um, Mainly we install on the computers Windows 10 Pro and this particular computer already have laptop have a Windows 10 Pro license So I will make sure I will install Windows 10 Pro if it's a Windows 10, uh, 10 home laptop So I will install Windows 10 home so it activate itself. So this one is pro so I will click uh, Windows 10 Pro uh, Not the N version normal version and I will click next I will accept the terms and condition and click next there is two options you can see it says upgrade uh, in Windows uh, install Windows and keep the files on this uh, particular uh, laptop uh, but we want to install a fresh Windows so I will select the second option custom install Windows only which is advanced option okay now you can see on um, my laptop have only one SSD so you can see only it says drive zero suppose if you have a SSD and a hard drive so you will see two drives drive zero and drive one drive zero is your primary hard drive which have a windows installed so in this scenario of course we are we just have a SSD so what I am going to do all drive zero I will delete all the partitions until it says unallocated so this I will select the it's already selected drive 0 partition 3 and I will click delete press ok drive 0 partition 2 I will click delete press ok then partition 1 delete and press ok so you can see now all the partition are deleted and it says drive 0 unallocated space make sure if you have a drive 0 and drive 1 don't delete drive 1 otherwise you will lose your backup drive all the data from the from your backup drive drive 0 uh, make sure there is none of the drives are left so you make sure you uh, none of the partitions left you delete all the partition and it should say drive 0 unallocated space 
when once you can see this is the all deleted you just need to press next that's all you need to do it will install the windows itself and it will reboot the system And now the windows is installed and uh, you can see it's uh, how uh, uh, on this point you need to set up your pc so you need to select your country so i will send it to united kingdom already click next um the keyboard yeah i have a key if you have additional uh, layout keyboard if you want so you can uh, add layout here or you can escape then it asks you to connect with the internet. I prefer not to connect to the internet at this point, otherwise it takes too long to go to the window. So I will click, I don't have the internet right now. And I will continue with limited uh, setup. It's asking you to put the name in, so I will just put uh, any name. So I will put uh, just N for now and continue. Uh, it asks you to create a password if you if you want to create a password you can create the password now but i don't want to because otherwise it's going to take long so i'll just click next and i will normally select just no for everything is ready um, you can connect um, on this point um, your computer with the internet and uh, just run windows update and uh, uh, most of the drivers will be done through the updates uh, that's how you install windows 10 on your pc or laptop if you need any further uh, question or help please uh, commit us thank you